Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we have spicy black bean noodles, two packets right here with an egg yolk on top. Then over here we have a Taiwanese sausage and a bit of spam. So the Taiwanese sausage, if you guys don't know, is actually a bit more sweet than your normal sausage. And it's a lot more fatty, a lot more fragrant. Um, I'll show you guys the cross section inside soon, but really excited to eat this. So to start things off, I'm going to mix in the egg yolk to make the noodle a bit more creamy and a bit less spicy. Today I have the, I think it's a, what brand is this again? I don't know if you guys can hear this, but it sounds so good. I'm going to mix this up and I'm going to dig right in. Okay, so now that the yolk is thoroughly mixed through, I'm so ready for this. <sighs> Too bad you can't eat today. It is really bad. Here we go. First bite. Mmm. Mmm. That's so creamy. Wow. The egg yolk really helps a lot. If you guys haven't tried this one, it's actually quite spicy. I'd say my spice tolerance isn't the strongest, but it's also like above average. But this one here is quite spicy. Here we have this sausage. It's quite small, but really excited. Mm. This is what the inside looks like. It's full of fat. It's very meaty and it's also more on the sweet side. The outside skin is a bit crunchy and pops, oops, but the inside is nice and meaty and fatty. Really good flavor. I'm going to hand this to her because she has nothing to eat. Thank you. And I've also got a drink here. Um, it's just lemon lime bitters. feels so good. All right, another bite of noodles before we dig into the spam. Hmm. I tried out this recipe today where I sprinkled a bit of sugar on both sides of the spam before frying it because supposedly it's meant to give it a more um, crispy texture and a bit more golden brown but I think it kind of failed it's not really crispy hmm. nevertheless super delicious spicy but it's so good it's got the right amount of heat but still tastes like black bean noodles mm. some fried chicken right now will be perfect mm. how's this bad? Delicious. Is it better with oh. the sugar? I think I, I don't think I added enough sugar, so it didn't really achieve what I was trying to go for. But it's still delicious. Mm. Oh, so much noodles. Never had this much noodles in my life. Mm. What do you guys like eating with your? instant noodles or black bean noodles I know we love fried chicken so much but we didn't have it today yeah. I wanted to order but it's too late fried chicken and saucy noodles is the best combo for some reason in Sydney 
All the restaurants close so early. Like it's ridiculous. Sydney, it's like a ghost town. Everything closes by like 6 p.m. Yeah, like at 11 p.m. You can't get anything delivered to you almost. Besides McDonald's. Mm. Like, it's so lame. I would have I ordered some fried chicken. Probably original or... Snow cheese. Snow cheese, yeah. Some kind of dry chicken. As in dry on the outside chicken. To go with the spicy noodles. It would be so good. Mm. You don't look like you're suffering at all from the spice. I think the first bite is always the worst. Because it's been a while since I've had spicy noodles. Or anything spicy really. So I haven't really, I kind of forgot what it tastes like. But after having a few bites, like, it all comes back to you, you know? And then you get used to it and it's not so bad anymore. Mm. How's your drink? It's delicious. It's, I think, like a blood orange flavored lemon lime bitters. Um, I had one earlier with a bit of gin and it was super delicious but since I'm eating spicy food I don't really want to drink alcohol just because it burns even more it's hitting me now What's your favorite dry instant noodle? Favorite dry instant noodle has to be the original Samyang noodles. Just because I can't take the double, like the nuclear one, <laughs> like I can eat it and I'll link it up to what we actually try to eat um, the nuclear one. And that was painful, but I didn't give up. Whereas on the three times spicy, I had one bite and I was done. I ate more than you for that one, but it was like painful, yeah. torture. But these ones are very spicy too, the ones you're eating now. This one's arguably more spicy than the one time, no? Definitely, I think. But you're doing very well. I don't know if it's obvious, but I'm sweating. <laughs> you have really good skin, so I can't tell. It's the preservatives and MSG <laughs> preserving my skin. <sighs> we had dinner not too long ago, so I'm still quite full from dinner. But was craving some spicy black meat noodles, so here we are now. Um, we made Hainanese chicken from scratch. And it was actually quite easy and quite fun to do. Essentially, long story short, you boil the chicken in garlic, ginger, scallions for like 45 minutes. Then you use that stock to cook your rice. Make sure to wash your rice and then add in more ginger, garlic, scallions chop finely and the chicken stock that you just created and then you cook that and that's that it's so simple and it's so good so good that thinking about it got me hungry and I'm eating all this noodle now mm. Legit so full. And it's like 
past midnight and it still works tomorrow so good luck to me digesting everything and waking up in time for work because I love work so much <laughs> we love work mm. it's our favorite I love my job love it Sarcastic, by the way. <sighs> All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Um, if you do, let me know and I'll be doing more solo mukbangs. If not, she'll be back in the next video. If you guys liked the video, give us a like and subscribe to our channel for similar content in the future. We'll see you guys next time. Bye!